how does one become a person that could become a CIA spy, right? Like walk me back a, to the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's actually the, the better of all the questions that we could have started with. So um, let me kind of kick off by saying that what Hollywood does to portray CIA officers is completely wrong. Um, and I'm sure that surprises everyone exactly 0%. But uh, just like when you watch a show about ER surgeons, everything's wrong. When you watch a show about how police carry out their job, everything's wrong, right? There, there's a an element of creative license that has to be used to turn it into entertainment. Entertainment and education could not be more different, right? And and what I'm all about is spy education. So the the real facts about how CIA officers work are far more pragmatic and practical than anything you've ever seen in a Hollywood movie. I often tell people that I think Hollywood gets it wrong because they miss the best parts of being a CIA officer. The best parts about being an undercover intelligence operative is that nobody knows you're an intelligence operative. You literally control the world around you. Nobody even notices you. You can get in, execute your secret mission and get out and nobody even knows you were there. That is so much more pragmatic and useful than any of the stuff that you see happen on stage or screen when it comes to spies and spy novels and spy media. So really, to, to answer your question in a, as short a way as possible, the way that you start your journey to becoming an intelligence officer is you start with a ruthless focus on practical, pragmatic decision making. And for me, as a kid, that was kind of forced upon me. I was My father died before I was born. I was raised by a single mom who was uh, you know, the first generation of American citizens who got to the United States illegally. And, and we, she didn't have a college education. Like I was born in very practical situations. My mom had to figure out how to be a single mom raising a child you know, in a different culture. And that was, that was where I grew up. So I was feeding myself breakfast and watching Saturday morning cartoons, dressing myself for public school by the time I was six years old. And that's just, that's where, that's where the roots were kind of laid. Mm -hmm.